Hello and salam everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all doing well. Alhamdulillah, we're doing very well. Thank you. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Shazia and I'm a married stay-at-home mom of two. I make daily vlogs about my life, my kids, cooking and everything else in between really. And I'd really love if you could subscribe and help our little YouTube family grow. So today I made some sardine biran and for that I'm just frying some onions and garlic. This is half an onion and two cloves of garlic. Just going to pop in some salt and let that fry until it changes colour slightly. Once it's changed colour I'm going to add in the spices. So that's half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, chilli powder to taste. half a teaspoon of coriander powder and half a teaspoon of curry powder which is optional as always now I'm just giving that a mix letting that fry a little bit then I'm going to add in tomatoes this is one tomato that was frozen because I had a whole load in the fridge and I needed to preserve them so I just froze them after the tomato is cooked add in your sardines this is one can of sardines that I mashed up earlier and in go chilies, as many as you like, and you're just gonna cook that until it dries up slightly. Here you can see the oil is separating, so that's when you know it's almost ready, and that's when I'm gonna add in the naga pickle. Naga pickle is optional, you don't have to add it if you don't want to, but it adds a really nice flavor. So I would recommend adding it, to be fair. Give that all a mix, let that fry. And it depends how dry you like it. If you like it drier, then cook it for longer. If you don't like it too dry, um, don't cook it that long. <laughs> Here I'm adding in some coriander. This is uh, frozen coriander. Because once again, I had a whole load that I needed to save before they wilted away. And I pop the lid on, let that cook for a further two minutes, I would say. And that's the consistency I like. So I stopped cooking. If you want it drier, then carry on. <sighs> just showing you how dark it is in the evenings this wasn't even that late in the evening this was about 4 p.m. in the UK and this is how dark it is the kids woke up from their nap so I just gave them a snack sat them down kept them quiet while Hubsy did some cooking this is some behind the scenes footage of what you're gonna see coming up he's making um, chicken what do you call it chicken roast that's what you call it so for that he just chopped up some onions you need f a, quite a fair bit of onions for this um, firstly for what he's doing now which is making some fried onions to top the curry so he's just gonna add I would say half an onion here just frying it off till it gets a nice golden color and this is to top the curry later right at the end but you need to do that first obviously because you don't want to waste oil doing that at the end because this same cooking oil that he's using to fry the onions he's going to fry the chicken in now and when you fry the chicken you don't want to do anything crazy you're just frying them to lose some of the moisture that they have and just to change color slightly nothing too crazy and they're not going to be fully cooked now either it's just to change the outside color in go the whole spices cinnamon cardamom and bay leaves and then uh, another two onions in here along with some salt and he's just frying that until it changes color the full recipe of this is up on my cooking channel as well as on an older video on this channel so do have a look if you do want the full recipe and then he added some ginger and garlic paste fry that off and then in go the spices this is his own mixed spice the details of that are obviously in a previous vlog video and on my youtube channel my cooking youtube channel so do get go and check that out and then he's added a bit of extra chili powder and a bit of extra coriander powder that is it in goes some water so the masalas don't burn that's the last thing you want to do because you'll have to start all over again it's just giving that a mix and here the oil has come to the top so he's adding the chicken back in giving that a mix coating all the chicken in the masala it looks like it's not a lot of, like enough masala but it will be at the end just trust the process 
Now in goes some chili flakes, as many as you like. Give that a mix. And then he's going to cook it for about 15 minutes, I would say, on the lowest possible heat because you don't want it to burn. And then in goes the water. Enough for how saucy you like your curry. And chilies, as many as you like, once again. And now he's adding in some Greek yogurt. That's about two te um, tablespoons, sorry. And some tomato ketchup. Tomato ketchup is optional, but it does give a l nice um, tangy tomato -y flavor. So I would recommend it. Pop the lid on, let that come to a boil, and then he added in some sugar. And that, again, depends on your taste. If you like it a bit sweeter, then add more. If not, um, add less. Or you can completely leave it out as well. That's completely up to you. And the curry is ready, so he's just topping it with the fried onions that we made at the beginning. And that is your chicken roast ready. Very nice. It was very, very nice. And then we ended the day with some cooking <laughs> for the kids. Sanaya loves getting the pots and pans out. And more than cooking, she likes banging them and making lots of noise. Noah wasn't that interested. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to say how thankful I am for all your support over the past two weeks while I've been trying to regularly upload for you. Um, it is a process, it does take time. I know I'm making mistakes here and there as well, but you know, I'm so grateful for your support and everyone that subscribed recently as well. And I just want to say that I will try my hardest to keep you all entertained, make the quality of my videos better and give you more um, entertaining content. But in the meantime, if you could carry on supporting as you are and you know help my YouTube channel grow, then I can do a lot more for you as well. Um, as a small YouTuber, I am trying as hard as I can to do everything possible at the moment to make the videos as good as I can. Obviously, they're not the best, but Inshallah, we will grow and we will improve even more. And with your support, I'm sure it will all be possible at the end. So that's the end of today's vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. And please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell and hit that like button as well because it really means a lot. Bye-bye. Assalamu alaikum.